Welcome to day 14 of the 21 days of prayer. Um, today we're, talk, we're praying for teachers. My name is Josh. Today we're reading from Psalms 32, 8. Um, I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. Um, so this verse relates to teachers. Um, but I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye. The first thing that comes to mind is school teachers and just how they um, yeah, are instructing our kids, how we can just think about praying for them and we're for peace, patience, kindness. Um, yeah, just for them to, uh, yeah, just lovingly and graciously <laughs> help raise our kids and teach them the things they need to learn. So this topic is very important to me. I have got four kids that are all in school now and, uh, um, yeah, their, their teachers are pr pretty much second important after me and my grandparents or their grandparents and my sister and um, just relatives. Next is their relationship with their teachers and um, yeah, just how much time they actually spend with them, how intentional they are with them. Um, yeah, there's so many different relationships that develop, develop with these teachers. And uh, I think it's really important for this day and age just because yeah our teachers are faced with so many more difficulties it seems than what they used to be just with vaccines and masks and all the stress that comes with that and then also there's just a lot of um, there's curriculum and agenda that seem to try to be pushing God more and more out of the school and it's very important for teachers to be courageous and just to um, live out their just their walk with God in front of the students and that the students can learn from that. And so that's one of the biggest things that I'm praying for for the teachers um, these days, especially at public schools, is just for their um, courage to live out their faith in Jesus. Yeah, we need to just continuously and yeah, constantly every day be in prayer for our teachers as they're with our kids. Um, again, just for um, just for their patience and for love and for um, just for joy to come out of them and for that relationship with their kids to be joyful with them as they're learning and just as they spend so much time together every day. And uh, yeah, it's just a super important relationship between the teachers and our kids. Yeah, I think one of the, one of my biggest influences on me was my fourth grade teacher um, Mr. Kara's fourth and fifth grade. And um, yeah, he was one of the few teachers that just really showed genuine interest in us as students and, um, and helped us explore just different parts of our mind and um, yeah, reading different books to us that weren't part of the curriculum that were just um, something that seemed to expand our mind. And yeah, just the, the joy and the, the personable he was very personable with us and brought his personality to us instead of just being an, an authority figure. So that was, uh, yeah, he's a very, still an impactful person on my life. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and pray for our teachers. Um, Father God, I just, uh, yeah, I pray for all our different teachers, um, especially our school teachers. Um, yeah, we just pray for uh, just their their joy to come through, um, just for their walk with you to come through to their students and that they can really love these kids out of the love that you have for them. Um, I also pray for the teachers that are the moms and dads um, that we teach, teach these kids every day. Uh, the main thing, how to, how to have a relationship with you and how to follow you, God. Um, and we also pray for James and for Tim, uh, just the, the teaching that they do at church, uh, the teaching that they do for the great students. Uh, we just pray for wisdom to come through them. Um, and we just pray for uh, the, the church body to be lifted up through them. And uh, yeah, God, we, we love you and thank you for loving us. Amen.